goobies! I just got off work and I was in the mood to play some TCG and I was like, well, I might as well film this for the channel since you guys seemed kind of interested. And as Squirtle Squad said, play online TCG. So, can't say no to Squirtle Squad. <laughs> So here we are! I'm going to be playing my post-rotation after world format deck, so let's get into this, my goobs. I just recorded this entire video and then realized I didn't even really explain the deck I'm playing, so I'm going to do a quick walkthrough of this deck and then get into the games, but I already, right now, technically played the game, so this is like happening in reverse. So yeah, let's get into this! <laughs> Okay, my loves, so this is the deck I'm going to be playing with today. My beautiful, lovely Lucario Melmetal deck. This is has a special place in my heart because Lucario, as you guys know, is my bro. I love him so much and I really wanted to make a deck based around this because I had a bunch of Lucario Melmetal cards and I was like, let me see if I can make something work with this. So this is the deck I've been playing with and it's been doing decently well against a lot of the decks lately. So let me explain to you guys how it goes and then we're going to get into some matches. Okay, Goobers, make sure you take out your little notepads and start writing some notes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding, but let's get into this you guys. Lucario and Melmetal starting out is going to be your main attacker of this deck. 260 HP. First move is Steel Fist for two colorless and it says search your deck for a metal energy and attach it to this Pokemon, then shuffle your deck. So it hits for 50 and retrieves an energy and attaches it immediately. Uh, then Heavy Impact for two Steel Energy and two colorless hits for 150 base attack. And then Full Metal Wall GX can be played for only one colorless energy. And it says for the rest of this game, your Steel Pokemon take 30 less damage from your opponent's attacks. And then if this Pokemon has at least one extra energy in addition to this attack cost, so if it has two energies on it, you also discard all the energies from your opponent's active Pokemon. This is super essential. This card is the staple of this deck. Full Metal Wall GX makes it so you take 30 less damage for the rest of the entire game, so you have that 30 base less damage you're taking forever. Um, heavy Impact is an insanely awesome move. It does just a base damage 150. It's awesome. And then, of course, since we are Steel, we also have resistance to Psychic, and we also have um, double damage to Fairy, so they have weakness to Steel. So great matchup. Lots of Fairy decks out there that you can beat with weakness, and then resistance to so many of those Psychic decks out there now. The Bahiams, the uh, Malamars, the Mew Mew 2, a ton of psychic Pokemon are being played now. So awesome, awesome resistance weakness ratio. Unfortunately, we have weakness to fire, so all those Charizard decks out there. But we have a couple of things in this deck that sort of counteract that and makes it a lot better of a chance for you to fight against Charizard decks and against that weakness. You'll also see me go against a fire deck tonight and you'll hear me talk a little bit more about my experience with going against fire decks with this deck. So uh, let's move on from this card. Okay, next up for the Pokemon, we have a beautiful little Riolu. I use this Riolu because his detect move is actually really awesome. You just flip a coin and if it's heads, you prevent all attacks. This is super helpful just in case he gets stuck as active for some reason and you don't have a switch or you need to stall. Hopefully you get a heads and they can't attack you for at least one more turn. So it buys you a turn. Um, that doesn't usually happen that he gets stuck out there, but the main reason you have Riolu is because you want to evolve into Lucario. So Lucario is an awesome card. The ability Lucario has makes it so your tag team Pokemon take 20 less damage from your opponent's attacks. So the goal with this deck is to make sure you have your Lucario Melmetal out and then stack Lucario's regular Lucario's on the bench in order to just have more and more resistance stacked up because abilities do stack. So, you know, two Lucario's you're taking 40, a third Lucario 60 uh, less damage you're taking. So it really, really helps in the long run of your matches. Third Pokemon, I actually tossed Skarmory in here when I realized that Alola Ninetales was a thing. Uh, <laughs> So Skarmory is a fantastic, amazing, I love him so much, secondary attacker. I actually found Skarmory when I was looking for a secondary attacker that was a non-GX Pokemon, and I just searched in the filters like metal basic Pokemon, and I found this beautiful gem. I think he is so 
underrated as a Pokemon. Nobody cares about him. Nobody knows about him, but he is so good. His HP is 110, so it's not like the best. It's not horrible. It's great for a basic Pokemon. Uh, and then his Calm Strike only takes two energies, one metal and one colorless, and it hits for a potential of 90 damage for two energies, which is amazing. He's hitting for 90 damage if you've already used your GX attack, which 99.9% .9 of the time that is the case because you use your GX attack in the beginning of the game with the Lucario Melmetal. So he's hitting 90 damage for two energies, and then for an extra energy, an extra metal energy, he also hits 90 damage, but then he's guaranteed to take 30 less damage on the next turn. So he's at still attacking for 90, but you're taking even less damage the next turn, which will help him keep fighting, buy you another turn, make sure he stays out there and keeps hitting. And it's amazing. I love him so much. He's just so cute. Uh, I have two in this deck. I would actually play more if I had more, but I only have two online, so you can play as many as you'd like. But he's fantastic for a secondary attacker. He comes in so great, and he's not in evolution. It's, it's great. So jumping into the trainer cards, we have Adventure Bag. You use this to retrieve your frying pans, which is my chosen uh, Pokemon tool card for this deck. Very essential to this deck. So, of course, to get your frying pans out, you need adventure bags to gather them up. So an adventure bag uh, allows you to grab two frying pans at a time. Next up, we have Cherish Balls. You need Cherish Balls just in case you are struggling to get Lucario Mel Metals out. Okay, Custom Catchers, I play four of these. This is pretty much your Guzma without having to switch your own Pokemon. So you're doing this to make sure you can capture, I guess, custom catch a Pokemon up as the active Pokemon just in case they keep switching out their dudes. Energy Spinner is so amazing in this deck. I love it so much. So Energy Spinner is awesome. For the Energy Spinner, you always want to go second with this deck, which is kind of spicy. Energy Spinner is something you want to use on your second turn, um, ideally, and it actually gathers up three energies for your hand as long as you go second. If you end up not going second, or if you use it on any other turn that's not your second turn, uh, it'll still gather one basic energy up for you. So just in case you, for some reason, can't get energies, this will help you do that. If you start with one energy spinner on your second turn, you're pretty much set with those three energies because you need to only apply two onto the Lucario Melmetal before he's self-sufficient with his energies from the Steel Fist move that he does. He gathers his own energies, and then you'll still have an extra leftover for any of your bench Pokemon or if you want to use it as the fourth uh, for the Lucario Melmetal. So it's super, super awesome. And then actually in one of the games you guys will see tonight, didn't realize you could use two of these on your second turn and get six energies on your second turn, which is kind of bananas. So you could Green's Exploration into two of these and just grab casual six energies. I mean, it's so overkill, but if you want to, <laughs> you can. <laughs> Are you guys great potions? I would play four of these for sure. Oh, am I actually playing four? No, I'm not. I, I own four, but I'm not playing four, but I would say play four. I think I just got these extra two, so I would definitely play four of these if, if you can, if you have the room for it. Super handy dandy. It just heals 50 damage guaranteed from your active GX Pokemon. I also play four mixed herbs. A lot of this deck has to do with healing and technically stalling, I guess, because you're taking so much less damage. I guess it kind of counts as a stall deck, but I don't think really it's a stall deck, but I guess you do heal a lot. So definitely play four mixed herbs. This also helps you when you play against like Muck Mucks or Venusaur Celebi or things like that, that poison you and burn you and craziness like that. So it helps you cure those. Um, really good against confusion and stuff too, especially ear ringing bell when people hit you with that. Uh, you can just unconfuse yourself and hit still. So very essential. Then I play two switches. Always super handy dandy when you need a switch. Four power plants. Listen to me, four power plants. <laughs> power plants are so essential in this deck. The biggest thing with this deck is countering Lysander Labs, I would say. Uh, well, one of the biggest things. And then also shutting down Mew Mew 2s. So Power Plant is great for that. For Coach Trainers, yes. Yes, yes, yes. This, this, this is a fantastic supporter card. I'm so happy this card exists because it helps out so much. If you're not playing Coach Trainers and you're playing Tag Teams, what are you doing? It grabs you four cards, you guys. Four cards. So four Coach Trainers all the way. I would play more if I could. 
four coach trainers. I still play two Cynthia's. I don't think it's super necessary, um, but I don't know. I just have two in there just for extra draw support. Mid's Exploration is really interesting in this deck because you can't actually play it if you have a Lucario on the bench because the Lucario does have an ability. You can only play this if you have no Pokemon with abilities. So Green's Exploration, I've debated taking them out, but I have kept them in because I think they're really essential early game um, before you have Lucario's out or sometimes I struggle to get Lucario's out and I can use this for a very clutch moment if that's happening. Um, it pretty much allows you to grab two trainer cards and because we're playing so many trainer cards It's so good, especially early game so many times I've started with like a Riolu and nothing else really in my hand besides the greens and I can play the greens get a cherish ball get a switch get an energy spinner get whatever I need for that first hand to make it so I am back in line have a good first starting hand and can go from there so really really good card even though we are playing that Lucario on the bench. I also have one Lily in here. I think I was just using her as filler space. I'll probably trade her for a great potion, um, but I guess it is more draw support if you, if you do need it. And then of course, four metal frying pans. So I play with four of these in my deck. You should also play with four. Metal frying pan makes it so that you take away weakness and you also take 30 less damage from your opponent's attacks. So weakness is super essential for fire decks. Uh, taking away weakness will help you exponentially with that. And then the 30 less damage is just following the trend of this deck, which is resistance, resistance, resistance. You're just stacking Lucario's, you're stacking metal frying pans, you're stacking your GX move, you're stacking everything up to take as much resistance as you possibly can. I think the most resistance you can actually take in this deck is like 140 or something like that. It's kind of bananas. You'll see it and how it works in the matches that I play, but this card is so, so good. I've debated balancing this card with Metal Goggles because Metal Goggles also takes 30 less damage on your Metal Pokemon, but it also allows it so you can't take damage from things like poison or burn or like extra damage counters like that which would also be extremely helpful i think in certain scenarios but i haven't made that jump yet i haven't tried it out yet but that is also an option you have if you want to do both metal frying pan and metal goggles but metal goggles doesn't have the resistance so if you do need that resistance i would definitely definitely stick with metal frying pan okay then i play eight metal energies just basic metal energies and then three recycle energies i actually just recently switched this uh in my irl deck i play weakness guard energies which i would actually recommend over the just the three recycle energies i'd probably play two recycles or maybe even one recycle or maybe even just weakness guard honestly weakness guard energies instead of the recycle energies or balancing the two because the weakness guard energy will make it so you have no weakness even if they have a lysander labs stadium card out which disables your frying pan so you're not only relying on the frying pan to take away weakness you also have the weakness guard energy which comes in so handy when you're going against fire decks that also have lysander labs that take away your frying pan and then they're hitting you for double damage if you have a weakness guard energy in there you can resist that still so it's very essential to have that. I don't know why I don't have them in my online deck, but I would definitely play with those instead. Um, so yeah. But if you guys just want a general synopsis of this deck, you're pretty much resisting as much damage as you possibly can. Um, you're not attacking at all with your baby Lucario. Your main attacker is Lucario Melmetal. Your secondary attacker is Skarmory, just in case you need to attack against Pokemon that can't get hit by GXs. And then that's pretty much it. You're healing, you're stacking energies, you're stacking resistance, you're hitting for as much damage as possible, and hopefully, you're winning. <laughs> I hope you enjoy these matches, and bada bing bada boo! Let's jump into some verses. Here we go, bada bing bada boo! So excited! Lucario, my boy, representing. Here we go, I'm in my gaming position. I got some coconut LaCroix. It's my favorite LaCroix. I love it so much. I actually don't really like any of the other LaCroix. Coconut and passion fruit are the only ones that I dig. So we doing it. We doing it live. All right, here we go. We're going against SSBM. What was his name? SSBM underscore gray AR. Ooh, sounds vicious. We won the coin flip. We're actually going to go second. 
uh, because this deck works a lot better when you go second, especially if you get an energy spinner, So, which we actually didn't this turn, so that's sick. But we shall see. And then our opponent has a mulligan. So we're actually going to start with Lucario. We're going to put Riolu and Skarmory on the bench here. And then click done. Wait for them to set up their pokies. Um, but yeah, usually you have an energy spinner or like a greens exploration. I mean, I guess we could Cynthia into possibly an energy spinner for our second. It looks like we're going against a fairy deck, which is actually hype because we do double damage on fairy decks. So I actually like going against Fairy because I just roast and toast them. <laughs> roast and toast. Oh, I gotta get three mulligans. Oh my god. Whoa, wait, what? Wait, what? That was not three mulligans. That was like 89 mulligans. <laughs> How many cards did we just get? Oh my goodness. We still don't have an energy spinner though. Wow, what the heck is going on right now? Oh my god, we just got an energy spinner. <laughs> okay, okay. So this is um this is our first turn, you guys. Wow, we have lots of options here. So let's start with attaching an energy. Um, let's also do energy spinner just for for the memes, I guess. We already have like 80 billion cards, but let's throw some more in there. Um, I guess we should do adventure bag for two frying pans. We might as well chuck a cherish ball out there, get another Lucario on the bench since we have a frying pan couple of frying pans no big deal oh let's make sure we flex on him with that full art here we go here we go hyper do all right let's chuck that dude down let's put a frying pan on him protect his little bum protect his little cario self power plant's already out so we don't really need to do that uh and then i think that's oh we need a play supporter so let's do um yeah let's just do a coach trainer f it we can do our greens next turn i guess let's throw down skarmory too why not you know who cares? And then I'm just gonna go for it. I'm just gonna start with our GX move. Sometimes it's more strategic to save your GX move up for when they have energies on because then you'll discard them. But honestly, I don't think that's really gonna be an issue for, for this one. So I don't know. I feel like I say that and then two seconds later, they're gonna have like all these energies and I'm gonna regret that. But we'll see, I guess, we'll see. I'm not too scared about this match because I smoke fairy decks. Um, which is one of the reasons I built this deck, actually, because I was just like, bro, I'm so sick of fairy decks, let's take these broskies down. Alright, let's chuck another, um, I guess I'll do, I guess I'll do a recycle energy, might as well, might as well use them while we have them. Alright, and then since we can't use Lucario after we put greens, we're gonna use greens now, and we're actually gonna grab, um, huh, what do I wanna grab? Solid question. I guess we'll grab uh, another coach trainer and a mixed herb. That way we can have two mixed herbs and then I guess another coach trainer even though we have so many in our hand already. And then let's chuck Lucario on the bench for that extra 20 damage resist. Uh, and then let's do Steel Fist. Um, turn. And we're gonna hit double because of the weakness. So we're actually gonna get another energy there. I'm feeling like this person's probably going to resign because they're going to be like, Oh no, I'm taking weakness? Ah, oh, goo. <laughs> and they're going to be like, peace out. But we'll see, I guess. We got a great potion. Okay, we're putting up a fight here. I, I dig it. I'm about it. SSBM underscore gray AR. I'm super about it. I like this fight. We got a choice helmet. We got a tag switch. We got a great potion. We're hitting some damage, boys. Mmm. <laughs> And he's gonna custom catcher me. Oh no, he custom catchered for more cards. Okay, psych. Just kidding. I thought he was gonna custom catcher up another bro, but we're good. Um, unfortunately for him, damage is gonna be slightly decreased. He's supposed to be hitting 150. <laughs> Ended up hitting us one, uh, or sorry, 70. My B. My B. Not even enough for us to put the mixed herbs down, so might as well just do a great potion. Uh, just chuck that bad, bad boy on there. Let's do one more energy. I guess we might as well do... Do I already have two steel? Yeah, I have two steel. So let's do another recycle energy. Let's chuck another coach trainer down. I feel so cheap right now. I feel like this game was like highly in my favor when I got like 18 mulligan cards. But whatever. We're rocking and rolling. All right, now it's time for some heavy impact. We're going to take this dude out real quick. Bada bing, bada boo. 270 for the knock. Sorry, Barbie. I so sorry. Okay, got a lily. Don't need that. Got another mixed herb, and we got a, another energy spinner. So, none of those. I guess the mixed herb is cool, but none of the other ones really matter for us right now. 
we're kind of set. We're coasting for the rest of this game. We're going to knock this dude out next turn, and we're probably going to take this win, so... <sighs> Sorry, Gray. My B. Let's send him a little love. Make him feel better. Or he could take that as sarcasm, and we just look like jerks. I don't know. Guess we'll see. <laughs> we'll see what happens. <laughs> oh, I like him, though. He's fighting, bro. Oh, just kidding. Just as I said that, you resigned, Rip. I'm sorry, Gray. I got it. Okay, that was a super cheap first round, I think, because we we were highly advantaged there. So let's get into the next one and see what we can do, boo -boos. Let's do it again. All right, monkeys. Looking for a pony. Looking for a pony. I'm going to bring this deck to the tournament on Saturday. It's actually a league challenge, so it's kind of a big deal. Just a little bit of a big deal, so I'm looking to actually play against a Keldeo. I've been looking to uh, test this deck against Keldeo decks because I know someone that's playing a Keldeo deck, and I haven't really played many Keldeo decks, so we'll see. We'll see what happens, but I'm excited for my, my challenge this weekend. So hype. Okay, uh, I totally read this as Honeydew Melon, but it's his name is Howzy. What is his name? Howzy a Melon? Okay, might as well, I don't know. How's the melon? I don't know. We're just gonna call him Honeydew, because I like that better. Okay, wow, this is actually pretty sick. Okay, so we both mulliganed. He's playing in Malamar. Ooh, spicy! I love Malamar decks. I love going against them. We actually have resistance to Psychic, but we got a spicy Rainbow Lucario. I don't know why I always start with this one for some reason. The Rainbow one. It's just like my deck knows that we're trying to flex on these bros. Like, yo, check out my Rainbow Lucario, bro! <laughs> I wish I had this in real life though, that'd be sick. I would I would not play with it, but I, I still think it's sick. Okay, so this is a pretty good setup for our first turn. Um, we do have a coach trainer, which is awesome. We're gonna be picking four. Energy spinner, fantastic. We're gonna be taking three since we're going second. I believe we're going second. Oh, ooh, he's playing a Gengar. Oh snap, I love that Gengar. Love it so much. We got the whole house. <laughs> Horror House! <laughs> GX, that strongly, strongly seems like a different... Is he going to use his GX on me? No, wait, this is first. Okay, so he's going first, so he can't use his GX. All right, so we're going to try to get rid of as many of these uh, trader cards as we can. We will be getting rid of a bit of them, but, I mean, our coach trader is probably going to take more trader cards out. So this is looking like a struggle bus sort of thing for the Gengar. I have actually never played against a Gengar before. That's going to be interesting. All right, so we're going to do energy spinner for three. Uh, we're going to adventure bag. I'm going to play this a little bit strategically with the adventure bag. Instead of taking two, I'm just going to take one because I don't want to put more uh, trainer cards in my hand, per se. Uh, I'm still going to chance it and get this coach trainer. Okay, wow, well, that's spicy. All right, let's throw Lucario on the bench. Okay, so now we have still a lot of trainer cards. This is not really the ideal situation. We are gonna use our GX move for sure uh, because Gengar doesn't really stack energies like that. His energy cost is very little, so, and he's about to probably hit us for quite a bit. So we need as much resistance as we can possibly get. Uh, <laughs> we are gonna mix herb next turn and heal some of that damage and it'll get rid of two of our trainer cards. But this is still about to probably be kind of struggle bus. I'm a bit scared right now. I forgot how much he hits for. The Gengar hits for, I think it's like 50. Yeah, 50 damage for each trainer card. Oh my god. So he's doing 150 right now. But if he does his GX move, I am actually item locked next turn, I think. Oh no, he just hit Poltergeist. Oh, he probably did that to see how many I actually have. Okay, so he didn't use his GX move. Interesting. Uh, so we're gonna mix herb that. We might as well great potion too, get rid of that bad boy as well. Might as well do that. Um, we're gonna toss another energy down. We're also gonna use our energy spinner to get rid of that trainer card. Spice it up. Spice up your life! And then we are going to... Oh, I'm scared. I'm scared. We're gonna Lily. Okay. Okay, that's actually not horrible. Okay, I'm okay with this. Steel fist for 50. And then we're going to bada bing, bada boom, get that energy. Uh, we're also taking a little bit of resistance. So I think he hit me for 170, but because he's psychic, we have minus 20 on that. So now he's only going to be hitting me for 100, and then he'll also be subtracting um, 60 from that for our heavy metal wall, or sorry, full metal 
wall GX and our frying pan. So we're doing minus 60 damage currently. Um, I still want to get some Lucarios on the bench and that'll be a little bit more resistance. But we're going to be hitting him for 150 in a second here next turn. So we'll see how this goes. Hopefully we can get the knock on this Gengar and we will be less stressed out about our item cards. But we shall see. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. But uh, yeah, uh, he's probably gonna use his GX move, and then that'll actually item lock me, and it'll make me draw seven. That's actually probably why he didn't use it last. Oh no, he had two energies on there. Oh no, wow, he didn't still. Oh my god. Oh god, he hit us for zero. Wow, we're burning and she. Oh, because of the resistance. Minus is another 20. <gasps> wow, I'm so sorry, my broski. I feel terrible, but not really. <laughs> If we can knock this dude, he's got nothing on his bench, which is quite interesting. All right, let's get frying pans on both of our hefty, hefty boys back there. Throw a recycle energy down, and then we are going to hit heavy impact. I'm not going to send you the chance because I don't want him to be able to wreck me uh, with item cards because this deck has a lot of item cards. We have very little Pokemon in this deck, so I don't want him to cut out the top me to death. So we need to just chill with our energies. Okay, here we go, we got a Dedenne. We got that Dedenne spicy. Oh no, he was, wait, what just happened? He tr traded the Dedenne? I don't know what's even go, oh, Pokemon communication, the Dedenne, okay. He's gonna put something else on his bench, which we are going to swiftly knock out. Was that a Garchomp Giratina? Uh-oh, SpaghettiOs! Okay, we got a Garchomp Giratina, boys. Nice, all right, so we gotta watch out for that GG and GX. Something I've talked about many times on my channel because it's super clutch. He pretty much discards uh, one of my Pokemon and all cards attached to it. And then I think if he has extra energy, yeah, has at least three extra energy. So if he has six, um, I think he gets to do two. Can I read this? Yeah, he gets to do two. Okay, so if he has six energies on there, he gets actually to discard two, which is a bit bananas. So... We gotta make sure to knock that, knock that dude out before he gets six energies, pretty much. Good thing is, he doesn't have his Malamars down, so he doesn't really have a way to get extra energies on his bros. He's probably sad right now, little honeydew melon struggling for Malamars, but uh, that's not my problem, that's a personal problem, so. <laughs> Ooh, spicy! He's gonna get that, that Inke out, I'm guessing? The Inke for the Malamar transition? I don't know, we'll see. Did that mysterious treasure, so he's getting out a psychic pokey or a dragon. Yeah, I knew it was going to be the NK. Alright, so he's he's chucking that dude on the bench. He's going to try to get as many energies out as he possibly can. Because if he has six, then he hits me with that spicy GG end and pretty much wrecks me. So like, if he discarded the Lucario, the second Lucario, and this one, we'd still have Skarmory would be hitting for 90 until hopefully we got another Pokemon out. And then... Uh, if he doesn't discard the second Lucario Melmetal, the Lucario Melmetal actually gets energies on its own with Steel Fist, when its first move. So it wouldn't be horrible getting more energy out as well with that. But I don't know, it's still a spicy situation, so we gotta just play it safe here. I'm gonna attach to the Skarmory first, I guess. We'll see how that goes. And then I guess we can Cynthia if we want. I don't really know what I would be synthing for. Yeah, let's do a Cynthia. Let's do a spicy Cynthia since we're about to knock out this Gengar. Not a big deal. Let's do power plant. I don't think any of his guys, yeah, none of his dudes have any issues with that. Okay, so we still have, okay, we got a co-trainer, which is good. This is all very good. All right, we're going to hit this dude for the knock. And we're going to get three prizes, which is very nice. Very nice. Uh, he is going to spell tag us, though. I didn't see that was on his guy, but he does have a spell tag, so he's going to be doing 40 damage on one of our guys. Probably this one. Not sure, though. Ooh, he's hitting the bench. I got you. I got you, Gengar. I feel you. Okay. Oh, no, he's splitting it. He's splitting it. Okay. Interesting choice. All right, we're going to be taking three. Let's do una, dos, tres. Okay, all right, interesting. Okay, we got a custom catcher, a switch, and energy spinner. 
which is okay. And we got another, when did we get this from? Oh, we got the frying pan from the Cynthia. Okay. So let's see who he puts up. Oh, he put up his ink. That's interesting. So we're going to be hitting out ink for sure. Next turn, unless he switches, I guess, to the Giratina Garchomp. I guess that's probably his best plan. Cause if he put the Giratina Garchomp forward first, I'd hit it for 150 and then it'd be the knock next turn. But if I hit out his Malamar, at least he used his ability then. And he's probably going to get another one on the bench, hopefully, soon. And he got the energy over to the Giratina Garchomp. So now Giratina Garchomp has three, so he is able to do his GG end for at least one of our Pokemon. Probably this one. <laughs> but he won't be able to do two unless he has six extras. So it's going to be interesting to see what he does here. I guess he could switch into the Giratina Garchomp and, and then knock my bro out. And that would be quite unfortunate. But at least we'd have an energy, a recycle energy on him. And then we could chuck down on the Skarmory and hit with the Skarmory next turn. But we'll see. We'll see what he decides to do and then we'll kind of go off what he's, what he's tracking. So, let's see. Hmm. He chucked a Jirachi out. Chucked a little Jirachi. Alright, you know, obviously our goal would be to take out this Garchomp Giratina because we'd get the win. Those spicy three price cards. Um, oh wow, what? Okay, so let's chuck Riolu out on the bench. Lucario is going to be evolved into next turn. Both our guys have frying pants already, so we're good on that. Um, let's chuck an energy onto... This is going to be interesting. I'm going to put it onto Lucario. That way they both kind of have an even amount, depending on who knocks out and who I need to bring up, I guess. And then we're going to use our Coach Trainer now um, to get some, some spiciness. Uh, I think I'm going to save that Great Potion, because if he knocks him out with the GX or discards him, we're going to have wasted that. So I'm going to save that. Um, and then I really wish I had another Custom Catcher. That'd be pretty sick. i just Custom Catcher up his bro. But we do not. So we're going to do... Yeah, I guess we'll just hit. Might as well take take another prize card here. See if we can get another spicy custom catcher. That would be quite nice. One of our dudes is getting discarded. It's kind of inevitable at this point. I don't think it's going to hinder us too much, though. Um, it would be pretty bad if he discarded two. But I don't think he's going to get enough energies to do that in time. So it looks like he's probably going to discard this guy. In that case, we're going to bring up... Probably Skarmory. Maybe, mm, yeah, probably Skarmory, so we can charge up. So we'll hit him for 90 with two energies next turn, and then at, and then we'll have him charged up enough to hopefully deal some damage and get the knock on the Giratina Garchomp. He just took out a Deoxys, Espeon. So I'm estimating he's going to use his GX move. It'd be kind of goobery if he didn't. I'd be like, oh, okay. <laughs> But I know he's going to, so let's see what happens. So pretty much our Lucario Melmetal needs two energies on him to start producing his own energy, being a little energy factory. And then our Skarmory only needs one to hit for 90. Uh, if I did have an extra on him, if we had three, he would hit for 90 and also take 30 less, which is ideal so that he doesn't get knocked out as easily. But, I mean, usually with these... Oh, he didn't use his GX? Wait, what? Are you kidding me, bro? If your opponent's active or already has damage counters on, his stack does 80 more damage. I guess he thought that was going to knock my broski out. Wow. I didn't... I guess he didn't realize how much resistance I had. Oh my gosh. That's so bananas, dude. That's lucky. That is very lucky. Okay, so we're actually going to throw on the Lucario. Uh, this bro's getting knocked out for sure next turn. With the, with the, um, probably the GX, well, I don't know. Would he discard with the GX move? Or would he just knock him out? I guess he'd just knock him out. So, let's actually do this. Let's, let's heal him up a bit. I guess that wouldn't really matter, though, because he'd be hitting us with damage. Well, now we have 20 more resistance because of Lucario on the bench. So, hmm, this is interesting. Very interesting. Um... I guess we could actually switch in to this Lucario. Uh, is it even worth? Like, he's got two over here. Hmm. I might want to do that, though, because then I'll have another one fully charged up. I'm kind of scared he's going to get energies out, though. Ah, oh, I don't know what to do here. 
Let's just risk it. Let's go for the heavy impact. Um, you know, we could also hope. So my dude's either getting knocked out or he's gonna use his his GG end move on him. Oh, maybe we should have switched. <clears throat> Actually, because if we would have switched, he wouldn't have been able to knock my bro out. Mm. We'll see. We'll see how this goes. This is gonna be scary. It's gonna be real scary. I mean, he's still he's still charging up the Espeon Deoxys, which I I'm guessing that he plans to use that if he's charging him up. Maybe he's gonna use that GX move, but I mean, it puts ten damage counters. I don't know, dude. I I can't read Honeydew. Honeydew's is kind of crazy here. All right, damage decrease. So he did not get her guy here. Oof, this is spooky, guys. This is real spooky. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Skarmory. We're gonna put Skarmory out because he's gonna hit for like a guaranteed ninety. We already have frying pans out here. Uh, should I Cynthia? Yeah, that's this is gonna be a spicy Cynthia. I'm hoping to get. Oh, okay. We did get another Riolia. Alright, let's see how this goes. We're gonna be hit for 90 here. He's gonna have to take our guy out. I'm just hoping to get this knock, dude. We need that- uh, we don't have- dang, that sucks. We can't use our greens because we have Lucario on the bench, unfortunately. So we can't get another custom catcher out because he's probably gonna switch this dude out. And then we're not gonna be able to knock him. But if he knocks out my Skarmory, we'll bring Lucario up and Coach Trainer maybe into another custom catcher. Then we'll be able to pull him back up. But this is this getting down to the wire, actually. I feel like I made a couple mistakes here. But I don't know. Maybe I'm overthinking it. <laughs> yeah, here we go. Here's the retreat. Spicy retreat, boys. Spicy retreat. So he's in 30 for each benched psychic Pokemon. That's kind of garbo, though. That's only what? Is this bro psychic? No, he's dragon. So, wait, what's this happening? Giratina? Oh, he has Giratina on the bench? I didn't even notice that. So the ideal would actually to be, oh, he just put Giratina. Oh yeah, I forgot Giratina hits damage when it gets, or goes on the bench. All right, so now he's got three. So what, he's hitting 60, 70, 90? That's not really that spicy. <laughs> not that spicy. Um, the ideal situation here, I guess, would to be get an, be to get another custom catcher. We don't have another energy, but he produces his own energies at this point because he's got two on him, which is what we're gonna need. <laughs> Scary. <laughs> If we got another custom catcher, we could literally just custom catcher up his bro and hit hit the knock and get the win here. He's bringing out his Giratina. His Giratina hits for 130 base. That's not subtracting all of our, um... Oh, okay, here we go. He actually switched out my Lucario Melmetal, which I guess makes it easier for me to use my coach trainer now. I'm okay with this. <laughs> I'm okay with this! I'm okay. If we need to switch back into Skarmory, we can still do that with our switch. So, not no big deal. No big deal, honeydew. No big deal. I'm not worried about you. This is an interesting deck. I've never really seen this combo. I guess, I mean, I've seen Giratina with Malamars, but I haven't seen it play a Giratina Garchomp and an Espeon Deoxys. So maybe I'm just out of the loop, but I don't know. I don't really play Psychic decks like that, so... Yo, I don't really mess with those psychic decks, bro. Yo, is it is it me or is this freaking taking like eight lifetimes? Like, bro, how long's your turn, honeydew? Honeydew melon, how long's your turn, big boy? Oh god, he only hit me for thirty. Rip. He's probably upset. And he took forty. Oh, I forgot he had to do that. Oh no, Mister, what are you doing? All right, we're gonna coach trainer. Please get a custom catcher. No, sad face. So sad face. We did get another Lucario though, so that's pretty clutch. So now we're taking, how much we taking, boys? We're taking 30, 60, 70, 80, 90. We're taking 100 less damage right now, which is actually pretty hype. Sucks that we got these greens so late. 
You know, I've, I've debated taking greens out of my, um, oh, I guess we actually could hit with Skarmory. Well, I guess it's not a big deal. I've debated taking greens exploration out of my deck, but I just realized how clutch greens exploration comes in early game. Uh, it's helped me way too many times for me to take it out of my deck because even though it's, it's useless once I have my Lucario's out, um, when it does work in the early game, it like saves me so many games. So I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. If you guys think I should switch it for something else, but it's really helped me so, so much. Dude, he's like, F that, I'm not hitting for th with Giratina and taking 40 damage again, rip. Um, I know that his GX move puts 10. Okay, so he's recharging his guard chomp Giratina. He's like, bro, I'm discarding one of her Pokemon, like, time now. <laughs> We're gonna see what happens here. It's interesting that he hasn't used his GX move yet. So he's either gonna do the Espeon or obviously the Giratina Garchomp. I think he's probably gonna do Giratina Garchomp. He would have done it earlier, I'm pretty sure, if he didn't retreat. If we had gone that custom catcher man, ooh, this guy would be roasted toasted. He just hit us for zero. I am so sorry. Oh yeah, we're also taking resistance as well. 20. 20 more. So we're taking 120 less damage right now because he's got psychic bros. I so sorry, mister. I didn't mean it. Alright, so this is the What's the plan here actually? Hmm. This is oof, I don't know here. Let's see. Yeah, let's check on. Let's check on there. Because it's a recycle energy anyway. Heavy impact for the spicy one fitty. That's about a book fitty. This is about a book fitty. We'll see what happens here. We'll see what Mr. Honeydew Melon has to say about this. <laughs> He's struggling right now, man. He's a struggling. He needs to hit out my Lucario Melmetal. I just don't think he has the damage there, unfortunately. But the unfortunate thing for him is that if he takes up this Garchomp Giratina and takes out my Lucario Mel Melmetal, I'll still have my Skarmory, will, which will hit for the knock on the Garchomp. So he can't really use that GX move, unfortunately. And I just don't think he has the damage there with this much resistance to knock out my Lucario. So, sorry, Mr. Honeydew, you're having a big bad day today. Sadly. I think I definitely could have saved my other Lucario Melmetal as well if I had switched into this one. Uh, but I guess I was just playing it a bit risky. I was feeling a bit cocky, you know? You know how it goes sometimes. I like risk. I like living on the edge. No, I just made a mistake, I think. <laughs> but I don't know. Hopefully it still works out for us. Either way, we're knocking this dude out unless he gets him out of the way. So, broski, you better trade this bro, bro out. I think he's trying to hit me with, like, gathered damage. He's trying to get that spell tag. He's trying to trying to just gather up as much damage as he can. But, broski, what you trying to do when I'm resisting 120 damage? <laughs> I'm sorry. It would actually be 140 if I had my other Lucario out, so... Oh, and we get the white flag, boys! Oh, snap! That was a good game. That was a good game. I think Honeydew Melon finally realized he couldn't really do much against that, unfortunately. So, sorry, Honeydew Melon, if you ever end up watching this. I apologize, but maybe we can rematch again one day. That was a good second game, you guys. Let's go into our third and final game, because I, I was just going to play three, but... We'll, we'll see how this one goes. Maybe maybe we'll lose one today. Who knows? Maybe we might get lucky and get a three streak. Let's see what happens. Oh, actually, we're on a four streak. My bad, my bad. I must have had a game in here from from last time. All right, let's get in this third match, Goobers. Oh, looking for an opponent, baby. All right, we're going against just a guy, 729. What's up, just a guy? How you doing? Okay, this could be a fire deck because he's got like a red theme going. That would be quite unfortunate for us. I would say, you know, Charizard deck is the only thing I still have yet to master. <laughs> I'm sure there's more decks out there, of course, that I haven't really gotten gotten down, but Charizard is definitely by far one of the uh one of the worst. Okay, alright, this is this is bad. He's he's got a Blacephalon right now. And we're going first too. And we have a kind of a garbage starting hand here. 
Dang, this is trash. Um, wow, this is not good. I guess we'll cherish ball for our third guy. I don't know. There's not really a reason to, but might as well since that's about all we can do. <laughs> we don't have energies. We don't have a supporter, unfortunately. Sometimes you just get back. Oh, he's got an energy spare. Wow, what a savage, dude. He just played me like that. I I use energy. Energy spinners too. Whoa! He just double energy spinner? Wait a second! You can double energy spinner? Wait, what? I never knew that! That's freaking insane! If you have two energy spinners, you can get six energy on your first freaking turn? That's absolutely bananas. Alright, he's going for it. Okay, thank goodness he didn't get the extra damage, but we do have weakness, so this is very bad. Okay, th that's actually exactly what we needed for at least something. We still don't have an energy though, which is straight up garbage, so we're gonna have to just pass, but we took away the weakness now with our frying pan. Hopefully he doesn't have the, what is it, Lysander Labs that takes that away. He's just, he's going for it. Oh, of course he got it. That's sick. All right, we got 30, because it subtracted 30. We got another frying pan, that's a bummer. Great potion, still no freaking energies, bro, wow. If I if I win this somehow, I'm gonna be quite shocked, actually. I'm gonna be extraordinarily shocked if I win this, because this is probably the worst couple of hands I've had. That was the worst starting hand I've had in a while. And um, now, oh God! Oh, that was bad. That was, uh, that was real bad. Maybe we'll, maybe we'll chuck in a, a fourth match. <laughs> Just because I'm about to get freaking wrecked. Dude, I can't get an energy. <laughs> no. <laughs> All right, you guys, you're about to see the downfall of the Lucario Melmetal deck when uh, we're taking mad, mad damage here. Oh my God, of course he got that too. Oh, like, I'm just gonna keep sending him heart heartbroken. Oh my god, can we get an energy? Please! That's so bad, dude! Holy smokes, what does this do, Fireball Circus? Discard any number- oh, so he just discarded- oh. Okay, he's doing it again for the knock. Oh, he didn't get the knock, though. Wow, that was horrible. I think he was like, oh, that wasn't a knockout, right? <laughs> Sorry, Broski. Okay, we still don't have an energy, so uh, I feel like I feel like I brought like a, a beanie baby to a knife fight <laughs> right now. <laughs> Someone's trying to stab me, and I just had this little beanie baby. <laughs> I can't get an energy. <laughs> this is a real unfortunate game here, you guys. But uh, I mean, it happens. No deck is perfect. I would have loved to have five win streak in a row, but unfortunately. The cards were not in our favor for this game. It's actually quite hysterical watching this go down right now. Wow, how many? What? Dude, this guy must have like 80 billion energy cards in his, uh, okay, wow, here we go. Wow, that's crazy. Full metal wall, boys. Not like it's doing us any good now. Ah, jeez. Okay, so he can't discard, like, he has no energies to discard left, I guess. Oh my god, thank goodness. Holy smokerolies. Here we go, here we go. Okay, okay. Let's see. We're gonna steal fist and get an energy for ourselves, please. Goodness gracious, great balls of fire. No pun intended. <laughs> Let's just try to hang on by the thread that we are hanging on to right now. He's switching his bro out to that blah blah blah. Oh, the luck. The luck. I mean, I would have liked it to be, you know, maybe just a regular energy or anything. Okay, we're gonna get one knockout. At least we're not totally helpless right now anymore, thank goodness. Um, let's please- oh, I was gonna hope for- I don't need a freaking adventure bag, bro! I got frying pans for days right now. I need a supporter card. Please! I have plenty of supporter cards in here, where are they? Help me! We need to get the knock on this Blacephalon. Hopefully he can't hit us for enough, but I don't know, man. Oh god, he's got Welder too. Rip. Oh god. Well, Welder actually wouldn't help him though, because he needs to discard the energy, right? He needs that thing that... Wait. 
he needs the thing that takes the energies out of his discard, right? Because he's got nine. Yeah, he needs fire crystals, I think is what it is. Takes it out of the discard. Ooh, he's playing the energy recycle system. He's cycling those energies. So that's actually going to take three out of this discard into the deck or one into his hand. So let's see what he chooses. Probably three to the deck, most likely. Because he's got lots of energies here and, you know, he's got some in his prize as well. We're living on the edge here, guys. I'm honestly surprised we're still alive right now. I think it was... I think he thought he was getting the knock that one turn, and then he didn't, and he was like, what? Wait, what? <laughs> this might... Okay, he's gonna welder onto his other Blissefi. Blissefi boy. His little popsicle boy. And then he's gonna draw two, which is actually fantastic. Right, is it two? Oh no, it's three. Psych? Draw three cards. Ma B. I don't play fire decks. Ma bad. Okay, then we got Ultra Space out. What's that do? Oh, it gets Ultra Beast out. Okay. So he's gonna grab his other Blissefi. So this just looks like, I thought this was a Charizard deck for a sec, but it looks like it's just a baby Blissef deck, which is cool too. You know, still struggle bus, still struggle bus. Unfortunately, um, for fire decks, of course, we are metal. So we take weakness to fire. It's quite sad when that happens. Uh, all right, we're gonna start loading up. Uh, I guess the Skarmory. I don't know. I honestly don't know. I don't even think it really matters at this point. Let's check a frying pan on Skarmory as well. Even though he actually doesn't take weakness to fire. It's actually weakness to fighting, I think? But, I mean... It'll still take the 30 damage just in case, so... Oh god, please! Oh, thank goodness! Alright, we got a coach trainer, so if we can survive one more, hopefully we'll get some heals, some potions, try to help a little bit here, but he might get the knock this turn, depending on how many energies he can feed into his hand. I don't know, guys, this is getting crazy. It's getting real crazy. We'll see what happens here. Holy schmucks. Holy schmucks. Ah, boo's scared, boo's so scared. Woo, this is scary, guys. Oh, he's discarding. Mm. I didn't want to lose this precious bliss every memory. Oh, we got the knock. No! Sad. Sad. And he took the win on that one, you guys. I tried my best there. I was hanging on by a thread. That was unfortunately a really, really bad starting hand. I think we could have won that match if we had just had, you know, the energies early on, the supporter cards. You know, we didn't play a single supporter, unfortunately, that round. So that was quite sad. That was quite sad. I think we're gonna play another game since I, I just, that one was pretty quick and I don't wanna leave it on like a sad note. I mean, not that losing is sad cause you're always gonna lose. You know, you can't win them all. But I just, I feel a little bit cheated on that one because we had such a terrible starting hand and a, like terrible hands in general. So we're actually gonna do one more and see, see how it goes. But yeah, I hope you guys like this video. Uh, please let me know if you do. I love playing TCG, I play all the time. I am practicing for my challenge this weekend. So we're gonna see, we're gonna see how this continues to go here. Call the coin flip. We're gonna call heads. My cute little Chansey. Oh, we lost, no! Okay, he's going first, so that's actually what I wanted. Wow, that's kind of game changer. Oh man, look at that. Okay, we got a Skarmory, which kind of sucks. You don't ever want to really start with Skarmory. I mean, it's not horrible. Is this a fire deck? No. No. Please, no. I'm pretty sure this is going to be a fire deck, you guys, because he's got fire sleeves. He's got fire sleeves and not fire in a good Oh. 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 Just kidding? He's playing. Oh, no, this is a fire. He's got Heatran. I saw the Poiple and I was like, oh, he's got Psychic, but no, nah, this is fire. <laughs> this is fire. <laughs> okay, that's not the end of the world, though. I mean, as long as it's not Charizard, but I feel like he's playing Charizard. I don't know. I always feel like fire decks are playing Charizards. All right, he's, he is playing Nangi Boys, though. My Nangi Boys. I love Nangi Boys because I had him in my Black Mamba deck, and he's super clutch. Love him so much. So our first turn is, is going to be looking like definitely that greens, for sure. We're going to get a greens into a cherish ball and a... Oof. 
that's a tricky one. We could get a switch to switch out our dude, but I don't think it's actually worth using the greens for a switch. I think we should get an energy spinner instead. Yeah, let's do that. So let's do, um, cause we do have a frying pan. So let's do energy spinner and then a cherish ball. Because he actually, the Skarmory's retreat cost is only one. So if we do need to switch him out, we can. It's just gonna cost us an energy, but if we have the energy spinner, it shouldn't be a big deal. All right, we're gonna chuck frying pan onto him. We're gonna energy spinner for three. One of those days. We're gonna chuck energy spinner on there, and then we are going to pass. Let's see what happens here, goobers. Okay, so frying pan takes away a weakness, but he could still have Lysander Labs, which will actually take away um, the frying pan, unfortunately. So that would take away us taking away the weakness, which would be quite sad. So really what we want is our weakness energy, which I actually think I took out of my online deck. I don't know if I have them in there still. I know I have them in my IRL deck, but I think I actually took them out. Um, I was playing weakness energy in the deck because just in case someone has a Lysander Labs, you can chuck a weakness energy on to, uh, or sorry, weakness guard energy is what it's called, I think, onto the Lucario Melmetal, and that'll still take away the weakness. You won't have the 30 damage taken away with the frying pan, but at least the weakness will still be gone just in case you do go against a fire deck because I've seen fire decks that play Lysander Labs to take away that frying pan, and if you're taking weakness, you're pretty much KO'd like in one turn. So it's very crucial to have both frying pans and weakness energy, uh, weakness guard energy. Sorry, I keep saying it wrong. Weakness, weakness energy guard. I don't know. One of those, one of those. Oh my God, what? That was cheap. Wow, that was so lame. What the heck? All right, boys, we're gonna do a third round. <laughs> Yeah, a third- wait, no, sorry. Wait, what round was that? That was three- that was four. Okay, sorry, we're gonna do a fifth round, you guys. Because they just resigned early. So, let's go into our fifth match here. <laughs> Come on, Pokemon! I just want one good last round, please! Pokemon knows I'm recording and they're just like, Keep recording, boo. Keep it going. Keep doing it. Alright, looks like we got another fire deck. Surprise, surprise. Lots of fire decks out. I'm actually okay with it though because oh, I should have switched the weakness guard energies in. Oh well, rip. Um, I'm actually okay with the fire, the fire decks because it gives me practice for this weekend because I know I'm going to be going against some fire decks. So practice makes perfect. Am I right? Am I right? Okay, so we got the Lucar. Yeah, that's yeah, that's a fire deck. <laughs> that's a fire deck if I've ever seen one. <laughs> Oh goodness, great. Let's just hope it's not Charizard. Anything but a Charizard, please. Please. I mean, as long as it's a good matchup. Okay, interesting, we got Jirach. Don't apply weakness, a psychic, wait, sorry, what does that say? Ooh. Um, that doesn't apply with my resistance. Okay, so it just takes away weakness for psychic Pokemon, I guess. But that doesn't apply to us, so no big deal. We still do have a power plant to, I guess, disable that. But I'm not playing Psychic against him anyway, so... Okay, well, we haven't seen a Charizard yet, so that's hype. This is an interesting first hand here. I hope we get a... I hope we get a supporter card. Please draw into a supporter. Coach Trainer, please. Draw into a Coach Trainer or a Greens. That would be clutch. Super clutch. Usually I start with a supporter on my first hand, like, generally speaking. But sometimes it's ha oh god no. Well, this is a Mew Mew too. <laughs> Sick, bro. There probably is a Charizard in here somewhere. Then <laughs> you know it's going down. All right, so we do have power plants to work against that Mew Mew too, which is pretty hype. Um, I play four of them as well because I've gone against many Mew Mew twos, and I would just rather not deal with that situation. So, I'm actually kind of happy about this. He's applying the energy to the Mew Mew too, but if they don't have another stadium and I power plant him, won't be able to use it. So, that's quite hype. And he's switching to the Mew Mewtwo as well. The Moo Moo I just call him the Moo Moo. Mr. Moo Moo! Mr. Moo Moo! 
Back up to the pot. Oh, that was a solid first round. Wow. Marchetto. Marchetto. Killing it. Marchetto. I like that name. <laughs> Sounds like a cheese. Sounds like a cute little cheese. Marchetto. <laughs> All right, it's our turn. Coach trainer. Oh, we got the greens. That's hype. Okay, that's actually exactly what I asked for. All right, so let's do power plant. Power plant. We're going to, I guess, cherish ball since we got it. If you got it, flown it. If you got it, just flown it. All right, boom. Boom shaka like a boom. Okay, so we're going to greens for, I guess since we already have a custom catcher, greens for a custom catcher? I don't know. I know we're greens for an adventure bag, so we can get that. Wait, let me see if I have weakness energy in here. Yeah, see, I don't. I don't have weakness energy. I must have taken it out. That's so weird. I don't know why I did that. Okay, and then we're going to get a custom catcher so that we have a matching one, just in case we need to switch up our bros. All right, so adventure bag, beam, beam. Oh, we could have done an energy spinner as well, but I don't know. I guess we already have enough energy in my hands for me to feel safe on that. And I would rather have had the custom catcher. So we're going to start off with, hmm, hmm. This is quite spicy, actually. Should we save our GX move or should we just do it? Because if we save it, we can actually discard. Let's actually save it. Let's save the GX move this turn. So pretty much by saving the GX move, we are sacrificing the 50 damage we could do next turn, if that makes sense, because next turn we're probably going to do the GX move. But we'll see how this plays out. I'm hoping, yeah, there we go. We got two energies. So pretty much if I add an energy onto my Lucario Melmetal and I use my GX move, it'll discard these energies, which, I mean, they probably have fire crystals, but I don't know. It still helps a little bit, I guess. <laughs> Get him into the discard, make him, you know, have the have to use the fire crystal, I guess. So we're actually gonna do that. Let's just say bye bye, Mr. Energies. Bye. Ah, I'm so sad. And then we take the 30 less damage for the rest of the game. So I guess that helped out a little bit. I think it was trying to use. I feel like it has a Charizard. Um, I'm just saying it. I feel like Marchetto has a Charizard somewhere in in her deck. So she's. She's probably charging up to get that Charizard move going. <laughs> yeah, I knew that was going down, the Fire Crystal. Uh, so the Fire Crystal happens. Oh, and a Welder. Sick. Sick. And she's she's reattaching to the Mew Mew too. So she must have a, a Stadium, I'm guessing. And another Mew Mew too. Interesting. We're also taking 20 less on top of our regular resistance. Because uh, we're going against Psychic here. I know, I know she's got a freaking Charizard in there somewhere, though. It's got a fireball right here. I see a fireball. Uh, unfortunately, she can't use any moves because Power Plant is out. So, don't know if she realizes that or if she's going to switch out the stadium. We'll see. <sighs> How much does that Marsha... Oh. JK. Discarded it. Oh. Oh, is that what happened? Oh, yeah. I forgot the Marshadow does that. The Marshadow gets rid of the stadium if you discard it. Oh, that's actually cool. And now it's using Lava Flow, which I'm guessing was the Mag Cargo. Yeah, sure was. All right, well, I just gotta kind of guess what's going on here. <laughs> the Mag Cargo's move, I'm guessing, was Lava Flow. Hit us for 120. Uh, that's kind of a bummer, but also I had to discard. Oh, that's actually pretty bomb. Here we go. Let's throw that power plant out as well. Great potion, great potion. Riolu on the bench. That was actually pretty solid. And then, yeah, let's just go with Steel Fist for that fourth energy. And then we're gonna hit for 150 next turn. So, cool beans, cool bean roonies, cool beans. All right, we're getting a Cherish Ball out. Where'd that Charizard be? Oh, the Latios. Ah, yes. Ah, the Latios. The illustrious Latios. Okay, so Latios has this move, this spicy little move called Tag Purge. And Tag Purge, 
makes it so that if it uses the move, it hits for 120, and then it also cannot be attacked by tag team GXs, I think, or is it just GX? No, tag team GXs. So not just regular GXs, tag team GXs. So we actually wouldn't be able to hit uh, either the Latios or the Mew, Mewtwo, depending on, I guess, who uses it. Um, so we won't be able to attack the Mew Mew 2 if it ends up using that move, which costs three energies, including one Psychic. Um, I haven't seen a Psychic energy, though, from, from her yet, so either she'll have to get a Psychic or she'll use that Paintbrush card to switch one of the fires into the Psychic, I guess. I don't know gonna be interesting but I'm hitting for 150 regardless so <laughs> it's kind of funny it's gonna be using the attack of the Latios which is gonna be doing 120 but we're resisting 80 right now so oh what okay cool I'm about it <laughs> we should just custom catch her back up <laughs> let's actually do that should we do it yeah let's do it Let's do it! Alright, we're gonna chuck a Recycle Energy onto this goober. And we're going to Custom Catcher that Mew with the energies on it right up here. Uh, and then we're going to hit for 150. About a, about a buck 50. And that's gonna have 200 damage on it now. Oh no, it's Bogatios! Not good. Needs 70. And we also have a Riolu on the bench as well, which is nice. Very nice. If we get that Lucario out, that'll be good. And we pulled another Coach Trainer, which is sick. So we're going to be taking four cards next turn. Uh, I haven't seen a Charizard yet. I'm wondering, does she did she discard it? Maybe? No, I wonder if she's even playing a Charizard. Huh. Okay, here we go. Terrace Ball, watch it be a Charizard. Come on, Bessie! Come on, Bessie! Ooh, taking some time here. Martello! Martello making big decisions. What's it gonna be, Martello? Martello Spaghetti! What's it gonna be? Martello! Ooh, we're gonna custom catch her. Who are you bringing up? Oh, spicy? Bringing up my other Lucario? Good thing we got a switch. <laughs> Good thing we got a switch. And taking away the power plant. And... Wait, what was the Cherish Ball for? She failed the Cherish Ball? Is that what happened? Oh, she must have failed the Cherish Ball. Rip. Sad sad day for you, Marchetto. All right, we're, we're using Lava Flow again. Here we go, big boys. Lava Flow. Lava Flow. Zero. <laughs> Oh, let's give a nice big heart. <laughs> and let's toss out another power <laughs> Oh, God. That's so bad, dude. Oh, my God. That's horrible. Oh, the white flag. I can't say I didn't see that coming, actually. <laughs> that was so rough, Marchetto. I'm so sorry. Maybe things would have been slightly different if a Charizard was in her deck. I think they actually would have because she had many, many ways to get tons of fire energies out. So if I hadn't got that frying pan in time, I'm not playing weakness energy, so she could have, I don't know, she could have somehow, well, I, unless she was playing Lysander Labs, disabled the frying pans and wrecked me with that Charizard, but I don't know. I'm slowly building tolerance against the Charizard, so we'll see how that works out. But yeah, that was a good game. That was a good game. Yeah, with, with the fire decks and the Charizards, I feel like right now it's about a 50-50 chance that I win. I have to get probably really good hands, and I have to hope that they get horrible hands. And on top of that, I have to play, you know, weakness energy, frying pans, and the whole nine yards, can't make any mistakes. And then I have uh, a decent chance at winning against a Charizard. I've beaten the Charizard many times before, but it's hard. You know, I've lost to it probably as many times as I've beaten it. So it's tough. It's a tough one. 
but I, I think it's definitely possible. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please let me know if you'd like me to do more of these videos. I love playing TCG. I play almost every day. So, you know, I'm never opposed to recording and sharing my knowledge with you guys, as well as learning from you guys and just showing you some cool gameplay. So let me know if you liked the video or just give it a nice big thumbs up as well. And that will let me know too. If you don't feel like typing a comment, um, I'm actually thinking about doing like viewer games, I guess. So maybe like picking someone from the comments that says like, I'm gonna play with you and doing like a recorded match and then uploading that. I don't know. I'm just kind of throwing some ideas around, but I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, video and I will catch you later, my goobers. Bye bye bye. Mwah!